First problem, build a circuit with no inputs and one output. The output should always drive one or logic high. In Verilog, we can represent binary numbers in this form. We can say number of bits and then value. So for example, three and then three bit binary number. So this is number of bits and this is value. So we have our top module, we have our output, which is called one. So assign one and here we have to assign one bit, one high. So we say one bit and the value will be one. Submit. And we can see success. Let's continue. Next problem, build a circuit with no inputs and one output that outputs a constant zero. So very similar to the previous one. We have to say assign zero equals one bit and the value is zero. And again, success. Let's continue. Next problem, we have input and output and we are supposed to just connect these with wire. So what we get on the output, we will assign to the output. So in submit. Now we have a little bit more complicated circuit. We have four outputs and three inputs and A is mapped to B, uh, mapped to W, C is mapped to Z and B is mapped to X and Y. So we will do four assign. W is equal to A, assign, X is equal to B, assign, Y is equal to C, and assign, Z is equal to, Z is equal to C, and here we have B. Submit. Next one is just not so we inverse the input and show it on the output in Verilog we have these bitwise operators we have not and or and xor we also have x nor nand nor and xor and for example nand is equal to not a and b and we also have these logic operators and you should not confuse these with bitwise. Logic operators are used for if statements and bitwise are used for wires. Assign out equals not in. End gate. So we have A and B inputs. We end them and then show it on the output. Assign out equals A and B. Now we have NOR gate, so it's OR and it's neg negated. So assign out equals NOT A, A or B. Success. Next we have XOR, so we have A and B inputs and then XOR and NOT, so we have XNOR gate. So we say assign out equals not and A XOR B. Success. Next we will work with wires. So if you want wire inside of the module that is not output or input, we can use wire as shown here. And we'll try to implement this design. So first we will implement these two wires here. And these two wires are N between A and B and C and D. So we can say wire AB and CD and assign AB equals A and B. Assign CD equals C and D. So we have these two wires and now we will show it on the output so we can OR these two and 
assign assign it to the output. So we say assign out equals a b or c d assign out not and that's gonna be our negated output and that's just negated out success let's continue next we will try to implement all of these end and or gates so we will first implement p1 y sign p1 y equals and it's gonna be or and this or will be between two ends this one is a c and b p1 a and p1 b and p1 c and the next one is gonna be f e d so p p1 d and p1 e and p1 f and now we will do p2 y p2 y is again or between two ends this one is a and b and this one is c and d so p to a and p to b or p to c and p to d that's all for basics and next time we are going to look at vectors.